In this tutorial, I will show you how to import side contacts in Revit using Forma. So Forma is available with the Autodesk AC collection, which a lot of you might have unless you have a standalone Revit license or you are using Revit LT. So the first step that you should do is install the Autodesk Forma add-in for Revit. When that is done, uh, you can access Forma through Autodesk Web Portal. So let's enter Forma. I will click here on Create New Site. I can create a new project, uh, give it a name, and I can set it to be invite only. So now I can search for a specific address. And just uh, for the sake of it, I'm going to use an address for my uh, hometown which is the city that I used to complete my master thesis project back when I was in college. So let's say that this, uh, area, let me zoom in a bit. So something like this should be pretty good. And I can confirm the map area. Then you might have to wait a little bit. Okay, and the first thing that you should do is order data. That means, for example, you can add buildings and the roads. So that sounds good. So I will click on order to bring that to my project. I can also see that uh, this is interesting. What is this? So I can use uh, this satellite map, for example. So I will also click on order. And you can see that we have uh, our site context in the city. And if I look over here, I can toggle the visibility of elements such as roads and buildings. You might have extra elements here. For example, you can display different things or use the satellite maps or to display the contours or make it transparent. So in this case, you can see that the satellite image has just loaded, although this will not be loaded inside of Revit. It's important to understand that the quality and quantity of information that you get depend on the country and location of your project. For example, on this Malibu site, I also have access to the property boundaries so I can see uh, the size and shape of all the lots. Okay, back to our main project. But uh, when you're ready, you can click on the three dots over here, go to Revit, and click on send to Revit add-in, right? Now it says proposal has been sent to Revit. And I do have a brand new Revit project ready right here. I will go to the Messing Insight tab and click on load proposal. And I can select this proposal that I've just created on this site. And you can set up the options, for example, if you want the, the map imagery or a satellite, or if you want to create uh, groups for the elements. Um, Right now, I'll just use the default options and click on load. What's interesting about this is that it will automatically generate a topo solid using the right contour levels and also try to create subdivisions for the roads and other site elements. So now you have to be patient and wait for a little bit. Okay, so our site information has loaded. The first thing I'll do is to switch this 3D view visual settings to use a shaded and set. And now we can see uh, all the buildings, all the interior site. So the first thing you might notice is that the river is actually green. It's part of the kind of default grass that is being used. So one job that you would need to do is clean it up a little bit uh, by selecting some of these uh, topo solids, for example. You might need to put in a little offset. And then in the drop down selector, you might switch using asphalt for these elements. So the rows actually properly show up. Uh, another thing that I would do is probably if I want to properly see the river, I would select the top of solid and select subdivide. And then I can use boundary lines to draw the shape of the river roughly. So just at least it doesn't look too dumb and appears uh, with blue colors. Okay, so let me switch to using water instead of grassland. And now you can see that the river properly works. So I was still need to do a little bit of cleanup with all of these roads and to show the proper material. But overall, still the, the bulk of the site has been properly modeled. Something else that is amazing by using this is that the site is automatically georeferenced. Uh, so for example, if I use the spot elevation tool and I go to the edit type and make sure that I'm using the survey point, if I select one of the element, one of the building, you can see that this refers to uh, the sea level elevation. You know, so I didn't have to set up anything manually. It just acquired the georeferencing data from Forma. Now let's go to the site model 
And something that I highly recommend that you do is to find the survey point, which you can see is way far below. And if you select it, you can see that we have latitude and longitude values, which confirms that our site has been geolocated inside of Revit. So I would strongly recommend that you unclip the survey point and move it at the same spot as the internal origin and the project base point, which you can see here. So I will move it straight over here. And that's it, you have your site model ready inside of Revit. The next step is that it would create a different model for the building itself, and then link the site model inside of it and acquire the coordinates from that site model. If you have enjoyed this video, please check out the BIMPure membership. It includes a lot of content to help you out with Revit, including our core collections of Revit courses going from complete beginner to advanced. And it also includes our series of mini courses with various experts in BIM and AC tech, including content about a landscape, developing a custom Revit toolbar, practical open BIM, ChatGPT for BIM manager, and creating gorgeous Revit images using D5 render. It also includes our collections of downloadable Revit files, such as our windows or door families, our pro template you can see right here. These are our windows that are made to be lean, fast, and efficient for all your Revit projects. And we also have live masterclasses for people in the community, in the membership, where we can answer questions and do deep dive on specific Revit topics, such as uh, lookup tables, um, content catalog, and other topics. So enroll now at beampure.com.